Hi guys and game devs, this is Matthias from JNM and this is a new Unity tutorial about Unity UI and opening an options panel by clicking a button. I'm using an external asset called Modern and Clean GUI and it contains some really nice images and icons and the first thing I do is to drag and drop a gear icon here onto this button that will open the options panel. Yeah, this looks really cool. Great. Okay, next step. Define the panel that will be opened dynamically. When working with Unity UI you have to create a canvas. We already did this. And now I add the panel that will be opened by clicking the button. Just align it a little bit where I want it to appear. Then I define a background or well at least I uh, no I don't need a background, I set this to none. And now the opacity to about fifty. Yeah, this looks really cool. And now I align it a little bit and this will be the position where I will open it. I drag it here to the options game object, which is the root. This is the button that will open um, the sub panel. Name it sub panel options. Okay, now some details here for the alignment and anchor it here to the right lower corner. Yeah, just a little bit to the right, just like this. Yes, that's it. Okay, great. Now let's see, we have a script assigned to the options panel. And there is a parameter called subpanel. And I drag and drop this game object, this subpanel I just created, to this parameter. And now I have the possibility in the script to activate this. But first, let's add a text because it will be an options panel, so we name this options, or we set the text to options. First assign some other font, options, okay, left align, and drag it to the upper left corner. Okay, good enough. Okay. Now you see, we have a script here with a function, a public function called tuple, uh, toggle sub panel <laughs> visibility. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, now, when I click this button, what happens? I have a bool parameter that um, checks if the sub-panel is already opened. By default, this parameter is set to false. Then I toggle this when the button is clicked. And then I set, set the active state of my sub-panel to this parameter and that's all. When you click now at this button you can see that the uh, active state is toggling and this is exactly what we want to achieve. 
Okay. Looks nice. Now the next step. Add some nice UI controls, of course. Now what do we have? What do we want? First just duplicate this text. You can do this by selecting the text and pressing Ctrl and D key. Okay, this text is a bit too large, set it to 14 size and perhaps it will be a kind of yeah input an input option like mouse keyboard game controller something like that again we duplicate this and this will be our mouse and keyboard set it to a font size of 12 now again duplicate this and name this controller or game controller oh, no yeah game controller controller <laughs> I don't know okay so that the user can switch if he wants to control his character with a mouse and keyboard or with a um, Xbox One controller or whatever. And perhaps at last we need a uh, exit, an exit button. These are all default controls, text controls. Okay, next control I need is a toggle. This is a, a checkbox. This is the default checkbox when you add it. It doesn't look very nice. I will remove this label. Okay, and adjust the size and drag it here beside the mouse and keyboard label. Okay, but this background doesn't look that cool. So we use our new asset here I introduced. It's the Modern and Clean GUI and it has some cool icons for this with a little bit transparency. And we just drag and drop this one. Where is it? Now, okay, now drag and drop this here onto the source image and yeah, this looks much better. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we need a second one. Duplicate this as before and move it just below the other one. Oh, this looks pretty nice, right? Okay, what else do we need? We need a button. Just a default button and this also looks not that cool. So again, remove the text, adjust the size. This will be our exit button. Okay, I add a sub control to this a child of type image and again I use my external asset modern and clean GUI and assign a new image I think it has some uh, door image uh, which fits here let's search for door Lower the opacity a bit and this looks better. No, no, we search for our door. Yeah, this one. That looks awesome. Yeah, this door. Okay. Cool. No, not with the border. Without the border. Yeah, that's what I want. 
Okay, now I have to select the button and move it to the lower left corner. Okay, anchor it lower left. I know this is already a nice option panel. <laughs> okay, now the next step. This is the logic for the toggle buttons because you can have either mouse or keyboard or controller, but not both. And so we need to uh, have a logic that when I press the the toggle input for mouse and keyboard, that the controller is uh, this uh, deselected. And there's a nice feature in Unity which I will show you right now. Look like this? No, we don't want this. So what do we need to do? Add the toggle logic. Adding this is fairly easy. You just have to add a component called toggle group to the sub panel options. Did this already so I removed this so you can see how this can be done. So press add component and toggle group. Okay, and now I select my first toggle and you see it has a property called group and I assign um, the, the parent for which I added this toggle group here to the toggle and the same for the other one. And now you can see this logic in action. So open up the options panel and now this is what we really want. Great. Well, I think we are done for this tutorial. I already designed a sub-panel um, before and this is the one we will use in our game of its time warp. I can show you this, this sub-panel, how it will look like in our game. But it's designed with the same methods that I show you here before. So, here we have some option for saving a game, for going back to the main menu and also for switching the controls with ability just like that. So thanks for watching. I really hope you like this. Please subscribe to our channel and bye to the next tutorial.